Hey guys, it's Soldi here. Today I'll be summoning on the latest MO5 star, Designer Lilibet. So I skipped out on Archdemon Mercedes. So yeah, I've got a bunch of Mystic Metal saved up. So without further ado, let's get right into the summoning session. So I'm, I've got 113 pulls until pity. I think, yep. So hopefully we can get her before I hit pity. See if we can get lucky today. Okay, I'm doing single pulls. Um, yeah, I don't like doing batch summons because uh, it just takes away from the ex experience. I feel. Oh, we got a five star artifact. I think this bloody rose, right? Okay, I wish it was um, Alexis basket, but oh well. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll say it would be better for me to summon next week because I can get Tenebria for my um, Fairy Tail or S10 E, but it's all good. Hmm. So, design a little bit. Ooh, please be her. Please be her. Don't be Leo. Please. Yes! We actually got lucky! Wow! Wow! We actually got lucky! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's, it's been quite some time since I got lucky Um, in the Mystic Summons. I think the last time I got lucky was in the M.O. Ken's banner, which is like... Must be a year ago now. Wow, I actually got her in what? How many summons was that? That's like... That's less than 10 summons. What? <laughs> well, it's gotta be a short video. <laughs> wow, so many people are summoning her. Um... Yeah... No, it was like 5 summons, yeah? Alright, let's have a look at her, um, hmm, yeah, I'll be talking about her, I guess, uh, I think she's pretty good, she's really good, actually, um, like, personally, I'm a, uh, I also play Control, right, so, uh, if she gets picked into me in RTA, I probably will have to ban her, but I, I think I can make good use of her, because, you know, I can pick her into stuff like, Briseria or Bazaar, basically units with lots of uh, debuffs. She's gonna work out really well cleansing them. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, hmm, really nice unit, really nice. Uh, let's see her awakenings. Um, she's got health, health. She's defense scaling though. Yeah, defense. Okay, defense. Very nice health. Okay, so yeah, I'll be leveling her up, and then I'll be trying her out in all the PvP modes, uh, Guild Wars, Arena, and RTA. For Artifact, not sure what Artifact to give her. Definitely not Uberius. Um, yeah, I, would, I wish I had ML Charlotte. I would give ML Charlotte my Uberius too, so I can max it out, but um, yeah, sadly I don't have her. So maybe I'll do Durandal. Maybe Sigurd. Um, Sigurd? Could give her solo potential. I'm not, I don't think if she has solo potential though. Um, yeah, not too sure what artifact to give her as of right now. Um, I don't think she needs immunity set too. I think you can go with like speed or counter crit. Okay, um, yeah, I'll be leveling her up, uh, spending my stamina leveling her. Alright guys, so I went ahead and 6 starred her, so she's almost maxed out. Uh, I still got one node left to awaken, but yeah, um, let's see how I can build her. So I'm thinking speed crit. Let's try speed crit with uh, kind of defense and weapons, uh, maybe... Um, hmm. Let's go 
go with HP, I guess. Uh, I do want her to be tanky. Uh, I do want a defense necklace. Actually, I want to gear her up as a Bruiser. This, this looks like a pretty good tanky piece of gear. Um, yeah, this one's really good. Or I could give her my A Ravi gears. Yeah, they're really tanky. Um, yeah, uh, so the thing is, I geared up my A Ravi in order to combat MO Kraus, but I've still been pre banning MO Kraus because I, um, I just like pre banning him, so in RTA that is, even though I do have good answers for him, but yeah, um, so I haven't been using A Ravi much, uh, so I'm trying to say, so I don't think I got good defense main like I don't like I don't think defense main's the way to go um, like you're gonna be susceptible to pure damage f coming in from like Ella Crow or maybe um what's her name uh no I mean ammo haste yeah uh I got this ring this thing's really good it's got 20 defense with um on a health main it's got high crit yeah, like you still do want to give her defense though, don't get me wrong, but um, you also want to focus on uh, HP, you want a mix of both I'd say. Uh, this looks good I think, is, is it good? <laughs> nah, crit's too low, I need, I need uh, more crit than that if she wants to do consistent damage, so... Crit damage is a bit low too. Health and defense looks good though. I think I could drop health. Oh, let me see. Um, uh, I don't think she needs much attack. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, um, all right, crit damage and crit is a bit high now. Uh, Hmm. Got the spare weapon I haven't given to anybody yet. Um, maybe I could give it to her, but then again, there's no. Um. Hmm. I like this. Uh. Oh, what? A Ravi. What? What does A Ravi have on? Uh. Yeah, just uh, Siri crafting builds right now. Hmm. Uh, I think this looks good. What do you guys think? Um, should I make her faster? I uh, I don't think I need to make her faster, right? Pretty sure she does not need immunity set if you bring her into AoE debuffers. Um, I remember my Avari's got a really high crit weapon. mistaken uh this kind of looks good I think crit damage is a bit low then again uh all comes down to how much she does in terms of damage if you want to invest into crit damage maybe survivability is the way to go I don't think she needs 220 speed I think 200 pretty good um hmm Give her more crit and it's too much attack there. Oh. What does Ravi have on? Hmm. 
I don't think I need this much, uh, speed. This looks good, yeah? Nah, nah defense a bit low. Then again, she's gonna have like 1.4k if I find awaken the final node. But I think this is too low defense. I think you want more defense than this, so. Um, let's go for defense. Uh, yeah, uh, this pair of boots is really good on her, I'd say. So, oh, it crits over 100. So she only needs 4 crit. So I can drop some crit. Um, Could do this, I guess. Um, yeah, I think something like this is pretty good. She'll be super tanky. 21k HP, 1.6k defense, but she'll have, she'll still have lots of uh, damage. Um, yeah, 1.6k defense with defense scaling and also. 246 crit damage. She'll still be able to do decent amount of damage with this build while being extremely tanky. So yeah, tankiness is very important for RTA um, if you want your units to survive, especially if they don't have uh, uh, a built-in survival mechanism like Briserius Immortality for example, you have to make them tanky. So. Yeah, so I, I guess that's how I'll build her. So yeah, I'll be trying her out in all the PvP modes. So I've actually been doing RTA quite a lot. I played RTA all day yesterday, um, climbed all the way up to rank 17. So yeah, I actually hit top 10 at one point, but then yeah, fell down, finished off at uh, rank 17. So yeah, I'll definitely be trying her out in RT8. So I'll basically be picking her into uh, AoE debuffers like Bazaar or Briseria or even Cerise. So if I see those units picked, I will definitely be picking her. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try her out. I'll try out in Guild Wars versus defenses with um, Cerise, F10 and Arbiter Vildred, I think she'll perform pretty well versus those defenses. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's summoning video. If you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to join my Epic 7 Discord. The link is down below in the description. So yeah, have a great day, guys. Sodi, signing out.